All right, so a couple of things that we're going to go over before we start, start the machine up and fire it up is some of the tools that you're going to need to do the, the recycling process. The most important one is just a, a dumb uh, infrared thermometer, you know, that pulls the trigger. You pull the trigger and it reads your temperature. Um, today we're at about 34 degrees here in Minnesota. Um, it, it's a nice balmy day for, for December, but um, that, that's the other neat part of this machine is we can make hot mix material uh, 365 days a year, 24-7, um, with materials that you could probably get for little or nothing if you don't already have them. Um, we can make hot mix for under 20 bucks a ton. Uh, and, and that's really, really what this machine does is we can make hot mix. We can eliminate the need for cold patch materials uh, because we can make 350 degree material in 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, the other thing that you really need um, to, to make good quality mix is some additive. Uh, this particular additive is, is made specially for us. It's a small amount of rubber, um, a large amount of AC, and a little bit of warm mix additive that we add right into the mixer. We throw this block right into the machine and it melts as we're going. So we're gonna fire this thing up, um, make some mix here, and uh, show you what really what this machine does and all of our recycling machines do. do. Um, it's a pretty neat process. So we're gonna fire this thing up, Get, get it cooking, and we're gonna kind of show you the whole process start to finish. So first, obviously, we fire up the engine. We gotta get some, some horsepower going, and we're gonna turn our conveyor on. Once we get a batch up into our top preheat hopper, we can shut our conveyor system off. From here now, we're going to start the mixer, get it mixing, start the burner system, and then drop the material down inside there. So the mixer turns in two different directions. I'm going to stop it so you can kind of see what it looks like. So obviously when we're in reverse, it acts like an auger and it discharges. When we're in mix, it just scoops it, lifts it, and dumps it back in. So I'm going to have the camera stay here. Now I'm going to slowly drop the material in the top bin. starting to mix now. Now I'm going to turn the heater on or the burner system on. So now I'm just going to hit the reset button which starts it back at zero. So right now you can see we have it set for 16 minutes. Um, we're going to fire for 16 minutes and at the end of 16 minutes the burner is going to shut off. Um, what we're going to see here happen shortly is we'll start to see some smoke and some steam come off the machine. Um, real white smoke, everyone gets a little nervous because it's smoke, but it's actually steam. This particular product the material that we have right now has about 30% moisture in it, which is extremely wet. It rained here yesterday. So our materials are very wet. The machine doesn't care. It just takes a little longer to heat them. Uh, but when you see that white smoke, when the white smoke stops, it usually means that we're getting pretty close to about 200, 250 degrees. Um, we usually only have a few more minutes to get it up to three or 350 degrees. So we're going we're gonna to let this thing cook a little bit here and, and we'll come back in just a few minutes and then we'll show you the hot material coming out the machine. We're going to check the temperature now. We're, I know our batch isn't done, but I want to check this. So I'm just going to take and shoot that 
down inside. You know, you'll see all that moisture, all that steam coming out of there. <coughs> That's the moisture from our milling. So I'm gonna close this back up. Usually when the steam stops, you now you'll see we're at about 195 degrees. It'll, or 194. It'll hover here for a little while until we can get that moisture out. Moisture's our number one killer when we're recycling. We really gotta get the moisture out of the machine, out of the material before we can drive the heat into the stone. Um, in a few minutes here, I'm gonna start adding a couple of these blocks to be melted down too. Um, so we're gonna let it cook for a little while longer here and, and eventually you'll see the steam will stop and we'll, we'll hit our temperatures and it'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna spill a little bit out of here so you, can kinda, you guys can kinda see if you look at the material that I just took out of here, you'll see how it's kind of salt and peppery looking. It's not covered, you know, the asphalt hasn't covered. We're about 100, 160 degrees. So this is what we started off with. This is the millings out of the back of the truck, about 160, 170. You can see it's starting to dry out, starting to soften up. You know, if you look in the middle of the mix, it's about 170. So our milling started at 42, in about five minutes, we were at about 160. So here, the next time we open this up, we're gonna see some 300 plus degree material coming out of here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some of the additive, but I don't wanna do it too soon while the material's real moist. So now that we're starting to dry out, we're starting to get some of the moisture out, I'm gonna throw a couple of these in. You can either throw them in this door here, or you can throw them in the top. And we just throw them in and they melt with the material. I always tell the guys to make sure they close that door just because it's a safety hazard if someone sticks their hand in there. All right, so we're at about 10 minutes. I'm gonna just do a little another little sample here of some material. You still see it's a little bit cold because we still have, if you notice, we still have, we're getting some, some golf balling. But now our material's starting to look more like hot mix. We're about 238 degrees, so we're still a little cold. So we're gonna let it sit in there for a few more minutes, and then we're gonna dump and discharge the whole batch here in just a little bit. But you can see we're soft, it's starting to turn black, and we could even compact it. Still not quite hot enough yet. All right, so our, our material's been in there for about 14 minutes. We're gonna discharge it here, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you'll notice now we've turned, our white smoke's starting to turn blue a little bit because we're getting hot. So I'm gonna just stop this so you guys can see. We're about 350 degree material in about 14 minutes. And look at the quality of the material. It looks as good as plant mix does. So as you can see, that's high quality mix. Now here we added about four pounds of that additive oil, which is mostly AC, uh, with a little bit of warm mix so that the shovel's nice. Now the other nice part of this machine is when we're going from pothole to pothole, we just leave it in the machine, we close the door. So it's kind of like a hot box and recycler all in one. So you can see it's good and hot. Well mixed. Three hundred fifty degree asphalt. Now it also does have a trap door. If you want to dispense material directly onto the ground, it'll drop through the pan right into the pothole. So if you got a large cut or a large hole, you can fill it right, right out of the back of the machine. So 
right now we're turning the mixture in discharge, which is augering that material out. the consistency of the mix from the beginning of the batch to the back of the batch with with a pug mill style mixer that's the one thing you don't get is segregated materials it really does mix it very very well um, you will from time to time get some stone that's maybe a little bit too big for pothole patching but that's okay you just throw that in the dump truck or you put it in the bottom of the hole now anyone that's that's, that's mixed hot mix. You can see it's sticking to my shovel good. It's got good oil content. Shovel's nice, it rakes nice. That's some of the warm mix additive that we do put in that, in that ARP block that we do sell. So everyone always asks me, what's the cleanup on the machine? The cleanup's super easy on this machine. You won't get 100% of the material out of the mixer. Um, so you'll have usually a small crust in the very bottom of the mixer left. So tomorrow morning when we go to fire this machine up, we're going to heat it up for, oh, three, four minutes without turning the mixer on. We're going to turn that mixer on and it'll kick, kick out that little bit of residue that was left from yesterday. Um, you know, the machine, the machine reheats asphalt. So if there's a little bit left in the machine, it'll just reheat the asphalt. So there's a batch of recycled asphalt. Now we're going to also show you the uh, setup and the changeover to change this machine from doing recycled mix to doing bag mix. So we're going to move the truck and move the camera here a little bit and we're going to show you how to set up the conveyor to run the bag style mix in it. Alright, so the guys are going to switch the conveyor over here. We're going to take it from using it for, for, using it for millings to go into the bag style material. So we've got the forklift out here. You can use a bobcat or anything. The conveyor is kind of heavy. There's two bolts that hold the main conveyor down at the bottom. They're going to take those off first, and then we're going to take the chute off also so that it'll accept the bags. So these guys are going to show you how quick and easy it is to do it.